please. Sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine Scout. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Ooh. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Ah. Ah. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special? Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. there somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> Annie and Howie, they followed me. They, they pinned me down. They took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. 
Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? Place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Running in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? Need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz, 
is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call? Today. 
this door's part? <laughs> Would you like to kiss the bride now? But not before the wedding. Shake my love. Jawohl. Covering his mouth. Not my problem, it stays on. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get you, and I'm your fucking lawyer, that pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, and I'm popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, Buddy and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Look at Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> Schnitt! Gott! Zimmermann! Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieblich und 
Open your mouth. down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. Weeks pass, or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. <laughs> Bailiff.
Mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are all for my son. I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mom. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. Balin! Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! You ready, Kinderlach? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady. Max Bombate! Drop it! Oh. I'm not. No. <laughs> Hurry! You have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood. Or it will die. Activity! 
Genius said that I ever tell you that. He's on. If Max is right, you should get out of here. The man ready for transport. Oh God, er ist tot. Scheiße. Das ist ein Gehirn.